in our contemporary world, in terms of presentation and theatricality, it's somewhere between Jurassic Park and Saturday Night Live. The title itself is kind of a tease about the nature of the show, its comic heart, and its sort of extravagant, imaginative world. It has passion, it has conflict, it has debate, it has pathos, it has great humor, it has all the things that any great play has, except it's wearing different clothes. It's all these individual people trying to figure out how they exist in um, a world that is changing around them, and whether they're gonna change with the world or stay the same, and what that entails, and what are the ramifications of that. And there's uh, a rhinoceros in it. The rhinoceros could be something totally different to one person as opposed to another person. It could be to the left, or it could be to the right, or it could be something personal. When we get into trouble is when we don't stay true to ourselves and our own individuality. Ionesco, of course, is uh, known as the theater of the absurd, so a lot of things that happen in the play are, are patently absurd, and yet they have a deep resonance and, and echo a, a deeper experience of uh, living through troubled times. And I think that right now uh, is a value for all of us. It's absurd and, and, and funny, and uh, I think if you're able to see the show with that kind of eye, I think you're gonna get something really special out of it, something different, something funny, something thought-provoking. So I think it's a show that, out of all the shows this season, it's the one you don't wanna miss.